What's happening guys? Let's talk about Java array list. So I don't have much time. I have to cover this under five minutes. So let's get started. So I'm just creating a new main class and I'll say PSVM, which is public static void main. Now I'm going to say list, okay, on the left side and say integer and say, uh, let's give it a name. Integer list is a new array list. Now notice one thing. I'm doing list on left hand side and I'm doing array list on right hand side. Although I could have done something like this, array list of integers is new array list. No, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do list, okay? I'll tell you the reason why in the next upcoming videos, but the reason is because of abstraction and it's a good design pattern. It's a good design to just put list on left hand side and then initialize it with the concrete class. Okay, so this is called as the concrete class uh, array list. Okay, now if I say, by the way, array list is basically very similar to, you know, arrays, except that in arrays, if we want to declare an array, we say int of, oops, array size, array, okay, array values, let's make it, like this is a new array, oops, is a new integer. And then here we do something like this, right? We have to specify the value. Now, the thing about array list is you don't have to specify how many value it contains. It is exactly similar except for the number of values you specify upfront. So that is why many people prefer an array list or a linked list as opposed to just array. Okay. Um, now, how do we add elements to this array list? I can do some something like this, integer list dot add, and then I specify phi. If I say integer list dot add, if I say, let's say 35, it's still good. Integer list dot add, let me make it 60, okay, 75. Now that I have all, I have added three elements into the array list, let me just add another one just for the sake of it. And then I'm going to say 105. Now, instead of doing 105, you know what I'm trying to going, I'm, let me add a string. Now notice it started throwing an error, why? Because it's expecting Java lang integer while I'm trying to pass Java lang string. How does it expect an integer? So this is why. We could have done something like this, right? But the problem is um, array list does not support int. Instead, it, you should wrap it up with an integer and then integer list dot add, let's just add another element. Now that we have added all the elements to the list. Now, if I just say, if I just say s out integer list and then try to run this, let's look at what's going to happen. So now it's printing out the values of the array list. If I want to, if I want to get, okay, let me, let's, uh, you know what, let's try and get a value. If I want to say integer list dot get, now if I want to get phi, which is usually at index zero, I'll just say get zero, which would basically return the value phi. And I'm just going to wrap it around with s out, so it, it really gets printed out. Okay, and if I just run this main, ta-da, we have phi. Likewise, if I do get of three, it's going to get me the value which is present at index three, zero, one, two, three. So it's supposed to print 105. Let's see, aha. Now, let me, let me give you a real quick introduction to looping in an array. You know, we've seen for loop in an array, right? There is another uh, way to loop an array list. Uh, that is called as a for each loop. Now let us go through this entire loop. Now if I say for every integer value and current int in the list of array, uh, in the list of integers, so I'm going to just grab this and put it here. And then if I say s out and say current int, if I run this now, what's going to happen is, ta-da, you see, it, 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 it just iterates through every single element in the integer list. 
and then it prints out the current element which is 5, 35, 75 and 105. That's the beauty of it. Now you can do it this way or let me show you another way uh, for us to differentiate. Um, first way, let me just say first and then let me do it uh, by our usual way, the for loop for int i equals zero, i less than. Now we can do something like this, integer list dot size and i plus plus. Now I can, I can say s out integer list dot get of, now we have to iterate through every single index, right? So index is uh, demonstrated by i. Uh, or basically I should say index is represented by i. Now if I just say, I mean, you can have this bracket, it's optional though. If I just uh, try to run this, you see this is coming from our for each loop, that first, and this is coming from our for loop. So that is the basic idea of an array list. And in the next video, let's talk more about the array list.